Betty, are you smart? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay. A human being, you have testicles. Do you have ones? <laughs> oh, don't talk about private parts all the time. Why not? I mean, your God, Allah keep talking about them. So I'm asking you, if you are smart, how come you have a God? He says that the sperm came in from the backbone. That's been answered on YouTube many times by these. Answer me again. Guys, it's answered many times. Answer me. Here we go. Aren't you the oh one who, who is desperate in the chat? You want to talk to me and Christian Prince is running away from you. Here we go. We have time. Go ahead. Tell me what kind of God he think that testicles are decoration like in the, you know, in the tree. And he don't know that the, the, the sperm is coming from there. So according to your knowledge, do sperm coming from the backbone or it's coming from your nose? Topic. Time of the time. We were talking about hell. We were talking about hell. Who well, those, about hell? those who believe they will end in hell and you will end in hell, my friend. Chapter 5 verse 72, we say Christians are going to hell. Simple. Okay, Simple. Ho okay, hold on. Christians will go to hell because they say that the Messiah is Allah, correct? Yes. But there's no Christian say that. The Arabs, the Arabs call... Uh, no, it doesn't say, hold on, you see, you're just being a Abdul again. You said the Christian, they say, you do not say the Arab. Now you're trying to fix it. I am an Arab. And we Christian Arab, we don't say that the Messiah is Allah. Actually, we don't believe in Allah anyway. And we do not even, even in the Trinity, we do not believe that the Messiah is the Father. The Trinity is not believing that the Messiah is the Father. It says the Christian, they say that the Messiah is Allah. If we don't believe in such a thing. Because you, because you believe that these... One, two, and three are one. You you believe that they're there. Doesn't are matter. One. We don't believe he is the same person. What do you mean you don't believe the same person? We don't. The Christian, they don't believe that Jesus is the father. He's not the father. That's why the father is the father and Jesus is the son. But you say they all one. you will go to hell and you're trying to avoid the question. What kind of God he claimed to be God? He says that you are as a sperm, as a semen, when you were in in in, 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 in the backbone of your father, you know? Topic man, come on. Don't you Topic here, man. We are, we, what we will say, you agreed already with my first topic that was you told me. He said to them, it's not up to you to say what's right, what's wrong. So they are accusing Allah to be wrong. And that's it. We, we got the goal. Goal. So you agreed that the angels were giving details to Allah not to do, what to do, what not to do. And Allah was saying to them, it's not up to you. See, people got more important things to talk about than hell. We got hell. Yeah, okay. Let us, let us talk about hell. Is it true that Allah will insert in your anus a chain? Oh my boy, look at this. What? The main important topic is uh, who is going to hell? The Muslim or the okay, who is going to, to go to hell? All Muslims, the Quran says, Do you know what does that mean? Huh? Huh? You are a Muslim, right? Yeah. So you Muslim, when you go around like rich people, you speak like trying to please speak Arabic to, to fool them, to make them, to make you sound like Arab. This Alhamdulillah, mashallah. But the second we read for you something from the Quran, you have no idea what I'm saying. Is it the Quran says, وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرِدُهَا? Speak, well, well, I don't know Arabic, obviously, I don't know Arabic. Uh, okay, so what do you say, mashallah, in Arabic? Mashallah, these are small, these are small words. They're ah, small okay, words. small, like, let's go to the small one then. When the Quran says, not a single of you, but he, single one of you speaking to all Muslims, but he will enter hell, was Allah making a mistake? No, what the translation of that means, the uh, country that means uh, everyone, every Muslim is in a walk above hell. Well, this, above this, is the, this is a lie. I can show you the Islamic. Do you, do you know Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet? No, not Steve. So can we take his opinion? Well, my opinions are the... Who are Quran. you to say my opinion? Are you like Ibn Abbas now? Allah is saying... The Muslims under, can we under take Ibn Abbas' opinion, or we cannot take Ibn Abbas' opinion? No, take him out and go to chapter nine. Why you don't want? Why you don't want to take him out? Yeah, because the Quran, Allah says that we are going to be in heaven. Chapter nine. Read for me. Read for me. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Read for me. It says, "Not one of you, but he will enter hell." Read it. Read it. All of you Muslims are going to hell. Muhammad, he knew it. Well, see, uh, what's this uh, hadith? What hadith? This is interpretation of the Quran, Ibn Abbas. It says in the film, Tafsiri Ibn Abbas. 
reproach is not a single one to the exclusion of the prophets and messages, save that he will enter hell. There is not one of you, but shall approach it. Mm. So all of you will enter hell except the prophet. Good for me, Arabian prophet. My name is Arabian prophet, so I will not go there, but you will go there. Your parents will go there, your family will go there, all the, your, all the Muslims will go there, and the Quran no. confirm it. No, according to chapter 9, verse 72. My friend, you are quoting for me to a contradiction. So in one verse it says you will go to heaven, and now not even one of you, but you will enter hell. It is, Many. it's a destiny. It says it's a destiny. Hukman maqdiya. It is a destiny. It's no. a decree. It's a decree. Do you see? It says a decree. A decree must necessarily take a place. Read, read, read. Do you know how to read English? You do not know yeah. Arabic. So do you know English? It says it's a decree that must necessarily take a place. Do you see it? That's Abbas. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about what the Prophet said. The Prophet and Allah says. Well, this is what Allah said too. This is, this is the Quran. The Quran is saying that. Chapter 9 verse 72. The Quran saying, the Quran saying, it is a destiny, it is a destiny, it is a destiny, not a single one of you, but he will enter hell. Allah has promised the believing men and women, gardens beneath which rivers flow, okay. which, which they will find eternally. Chapter 9, verse 72. Okay, let me, sh let me show you this. <clears throat> verse 72. Okay, heaven. I want you to read this for me. If you pray to Allah, if you fast, if you kill some Christian and some Jews, are you going to go to heaven? If you what? Fast. If you be a good Muslim, like you start raping, killing, stealing, you know, being a Muslim, are you going to go to heaven? Guaranteed. And go to heaven for that, raping. And yeah, because you Muslim, you've been ordered to go and attack the Christian, the Jews, get the blonde girls. You know, isn't it the Muhammad, he told you, go and attack the, the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. So now listen, the, uh, the hadith in front of you is, is, is a da'if. It says here that a person, Muhammad is swear by Allah saying, I swear by Allah that a person of you, he will do the act of people of paradise. And he keep doing that until there is a distance of two cubits between him and paradise, and two arms, sorry. And then, or two cubits, yeah. Uh, and, and then before he enter paradise, Allah, what he, Allah he wrote for him, will take place and he will start acting like people of hell and he go to hell. And the opposite, and he says, I swear by Allah, that one of you will do act the people of hell until there's two arms between him and hell. And then what Allah wrote for him will take a place and he will enter heaven. So in Islam, there's no deed and being Muslim, not Muslim. It's what Allah wrote for you before he created you. Is that correct? I did, I did not say to you that everyone is going to heaven. I this is not the question. That. Focus on me, Zafar. Focus, focus, focus. A Muslim, he cannot focus. He's a Muslim. You know, come on. Listen. He said, you will do the deeds of paradise every day in your life until you are almost in the door. And then what Allah, he wrote for you, will make you go to hell. Read it. And then he said, the other person, he will do the deeds of hell every day in his life until there is a distance of two meters between you and the, and the gate of hell and then what allah wrote for you will overcome and he will start acting like people of paradise and he go to paradise so in islam it's not what you do it says your fate is that true my word is it what was this hadith yeah this is the hadith Daif or Sahih? Daif, like you. Why are you, why are you reading me a Daif hadith? I, I like, I like Daif. What's wrong with Daif? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I, I, the reason I'm talking to you because you are Daif. Because our prophet said in Sahih Bukhari that whoever believes in Jesus and okay. Muhammad... Okay, so are you said, saying now you believe in Al-Bukhari? You accept Al-Bukhari? Bukhari, let me, let me give you a... Hadith here? No, do you believe? Do you accept Al Bukhari? I thought Bukhari is a weak Hadith book. The, the Bukhari is the highest of Hadiths. Is the and highest? Are you, are, you, are you sure? Let me quote you a Hadith. Well, I am quoting you from Al Bukhari, Abdul. This is Al Bukhari in front of you. I was just making, uh, uh, you know, playing with you. This is Al Bukhari. 
And now you said this is the highest, so you cannot deny it now. Al-Bukhari, hadith number 6594. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. No, let me see. My soul is breathed to him on the last person with you. By the way, people like to see you in the camera. You, they said they are very handsome. I don't know. I'm on the camera. <laughs> I don't know. You're on the camera. You uh, your mistaken. camera was on for the last two hours. Was it? Yeah, I, mean, I will show you in the bathroom, bathroom too. Well, you should have bloody cut my screen off, CP man. <laughs> you, you, how I know that you know it's you who turned the camera on? It's not my business. Where is the bloody camera on this? I don't know where the bloody camera is. It's your phone. It's not me who can uh, touch your phone. You do not know what you're touching. This is why you, not good. This is why you should not give a phone to a Muslim. You don't know what he's doing. No, I got, I got a new phone today. You see, we are, the, we are the Christians. You know, we are the one who make things. Muslim, they use them and they miss it around. Anyway, next you, time, before you, you call me, say, inshallah. Now, focus with me, Al-Bukhari. You said the Bukhari is the highest. And this is Al-Bukhari saying that you will go to hell. There's no guarantee you will go to heaven. It says it's what Allah He wrote for you before He created you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. So the, all Islam is a fiction because it's not you praying or not praying. It's just not you doing jihad. All the lies he Muhammad He promised you if you do jihad, if you do pray, if you practice this, practice that. It was a joke. At the end of the day, it is your fate. It's not what you do. No, it's not. It's in front of you. Read it. And by, and by the way, by the way, your camera is on again. Where the heck is my, this phone here? I've just bought this phone. Sit today. on it, as, as far. Sit on it this way. We see, we will see your ass. We don't see your face. <laughs> Read the hadith in front of you. It's in the front of you saying that it's what Allah He decide. It's what Allah He decree. It's not up to you. The guy he is almost there, and then what Allah wrote for him will take over. He's, he's up to Allah. He's up to him. Who's going to Which heaven? Which is up to him? We know that's up to him, but he, it says here that what Allah wrote for you before he created you is going yeah. to decide where you will go. It's not what you do. You see the guy here. They, look, this is a guy like you. He grew a beard. By the way, I like your beard. You know, your beard remind, remind me of my... I used to have a cat, like, you know, look like it. So look at this. The guy is doing the deed of paradise until he is almost there. And then what Allah wrote for him will take a place, will overcome, and will take him to hell. So it's not up to you what you decide, you are a believer or not. It's, I might go to heaven, you might go to hell. This is what the, this is what the hadith is saying, and you are, you are the one who said, you accept Al-Bukhari to be the highest, and this is Sahih Al-Bukhari. Let me answer that. Oh, you go ahead. Allah has written, Allah has written everybody's decree, but he knows what they will do. That's an evil leader. This is not hell. true. Read carefully. It says that the person of you will do the deeds of heaven. Read carefully. Abdul, read, read, slow. Let us read together. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. It says here, uh, Muhammad is swearing. He said, by Allah, by Allah, read carefully, a person among you, or a man, or, you know, mankind, may do the deeds of people of the fire till there is only a cupid or an arm breathe distance between him and fire this guy is uh, doing nothing about islam he don't care about islam at all he's almost there and then then read carefully then that is written that is written which allah ordered the angels to write this is the fate proceed and he does the deeds of people of paradise and he enter it you see it? Pretty, and he does the deeds of the people of paradise and into the end. And the man may do the deeds of the people of paradise till there is only a cubit of. Can you put the screen up? Cubit of. Yeah. Hmm. So this person, he was a bad person all his life, doing nothing right. And then the fate which is written, not his decision. The fate which Allah he wrote for him will take over, proceed, and then he go to heaven. And then the opposite, a man who do the deeds of paradise all his life. And there is only a cupid or two between him and the paradise is almost there. 
Then that yeah. is written proceed, and he does the deeds of people of fire, and he enter it. So in Islam, it's not up to you. It's not you pray or no. you don't pray. No. That that answer for, for for that is the answer for that is yeah that this person has been doing all good all all his life. You misquoting this verse, man. Abdul, this. It says it says, and then what is written by Allah, proceed. Correct. Yeah. Okay, the written by Allah is his decision or decision of Allah. Did you see why I blocked you before? Maybe, <laughs> maybe, read properly, but then that. What do you mean you did read already three, four times? I mean, how slow are you? You see, I think your phone is not good. Where you get your phone from? Is it stolen phone? No. Because the Muslim, they have a stolen uh -huh. phone market in London, you know? You go to the Muslims area, you will find a stolen phone, stolen uh, bicycles. St I mean, everything stolen is there. Stolen credit card, watches, you name it. Muslims are good believers. Mm, true. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty Christian countries, aren't they? Obviously. But, uh, you are the one who stated, and you are the one who said, and then you claim that you are following God. His name is Allah, and you are decent, and you grow a beard. But then the writings which Allah has ordered the angels to write proceeds, and he does the deeds of the people of paradise and enters it. And, and Mamin. What Mamin, man? You remind me the guy, the Mamin Muhammad, the guy, the guy taking Shahada. Is that how you read English? Let me, let me teach you how to read English in Arabic way. A man may do the deeds of people of paradise. So he is killing Christians, stealing, taking watches from people, taking credit cards, selling them in the market, in, in the, in, in the, in the, uh, uh, far, like close to Birmingham, you know, square, like you go around, doing everything, uh, you know, uh, uh, right according to Islam. And then what Allah wrote for him will take over and he will start being good Christian, good believer, good, nice person. He loves his enemy. He don't kill. He don't hate. And then uh, uh, this is because Allah, he made him switch and Allah, he wrote for him that he will be Christian. So he go to hell. CP, you got it wrong. The writings are from the angels. They are writing for what he's going to do. Yeah, what he will do. The angels, they wrote for him a destiny. Don't you Muslim believe in Al-Qadr? Angels, uh, angels are on our shoulders. Listen, listen, listen. Everything. Okay, the angels in your sh shoulders, the angel writing that in your shoulders or in your... Huh? In your... <clears throat> because as I know, the Prophet said, it's written in every woman's vagina, the name of the one who will F her. So based on this, your destiny is written in your penis, if you are a male, and written in her vagina, if you are a female. Come on, don't talk dirty. I'm not talking, talking about... dirty, I'm quoting your prophet. Maktubun ala kulli farjin ismuna kihihi. It is written in the, na the name of everyone who will F a woman uh, uh, in a vagina, the name of the one who will F her. Do you want to show the reference? No, forget that. That's well, like no, fun. so you are saying to me, you know, don't speak dirty. So your prophet speaking dirty, and then you accuse me speaking dirty. Like your Mimi Hijab, he says to me, uh, how you say, it's, you know, you're a sexual predator because I was quoting for your sister. And we are, uh, listen, listen. Maktubun ala kulli farjin, bismuna kihi. So did your prophet say that, or I'm making things up? Yeah. But, you know, he's wet, okay. wet. So what Allah, he wrote, you see, because this is in the connection with this. If a woman, she committed adultery or fornication, Allah, he wrote over her vagina, the names of the men who is going to F her. It's a destiny. So when a woman, she called the sheikh, and I can show you the video in YouTube, she called him, she's asking, well, uh, she is over 30 now, and she is worried that she will not get married in the Middle East, 30 is so old. He said to her, my daughter, don't worry. The prophet says it's written over every vagina the name of the men who will F it. So if it's written for you, you will F, you will be F'd, you will be F'd. Nobody can change that. So this is what you must then believe. You believe in destiny. You don't believe in choices. No, we believe in choices. No, you don't. We do. You have free will to do good and wrong. At the end of the day, it's our, it's our, own, it's our own choice. Okay, how you have own choice, and then hadith in the front of us says what is written by Allah. You are the wind, the deed of paradise, and you are almost there. And then what is written by Allah will take over. No, but what he's saying uh, written is what's been written for you that you are going to do this. Exactly. No, no you, you have to do it's a decree. Okay, let me show you. Maybe 
Maybe you are, you know, maybe your limit is because of the translation, because you are not, uh, you are using a new smartphone. I, listen, I listen. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Here we go. I will show you a different translation so you can understand better. Okay. Listen carefully. Here we go. Okay, then we will see it says here. Uh, okay. Ah, read carefully. That will make it even better. Read with me. It says here that what is destiny will take over. Then, when suddenly the written of destiny overcome him, overcome him, overcome his will, and began to act like the people of hell, and he entered hell. So the destiny is not your choice. Do you write your destiny or Allah write your destiny? Until, until there remains between him and heaven a distance of Cupid and writing and of that the writings of destiny overcome him. And then he begins to act like the people of paradise. And... Why you don't Hello? call me why you don't call Muhammad Hijab to join us so we can laugh more? There's no about laughing more. Well we no laugh like, more. I will see. Call Muhammad Hijab, I challenge you. Call him right now. Let him join us, this coward who run away. And let us see all those potatoes in in in, uh, in UK. All of them call him right now. I am the only Christian here and all of you with the beard. And let everybody laugh. Let us see who, how, what they can do. Open, open talk. The same way we are doing. Call them. Let us see. They don't talk to you, but you bloody speak They don't dare to, call, talk to me. Don't, this is excuse. They don't dare. They, they are afraid what will happen. Like what happened to you now? Look what happened to you. So I'm asking you, I'm giving you a chance. Do you like to call them to seek help? I'm here. Are they, men, are they men enough to join us in a conversation? Call them. Well, that's up to them. Out of their contact details. Why you don't call them? Call them to join us. I'm not asking you to call them to have a dinner now. We want to see, as you see, this is embarrassment. You cannot answer. They cannot debate, they keep running away, and they are potatoes. So who is of you who have knowledge? Who is the Muslim have a knowledge? None of you have a knowledge in Islam. We are the Christians. Even the Quran says that to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what we reveal to you, go to Christian Prince. The Quran says that. This writing of destiny is the person's own fault. It's his own fault. How is Why your he's fault if it's a destiny? How it is fault if it's a destiny? His own destiny. How, it's a, that. how it's a destiny written by Allah before he was created, and this is his fault now. No, because Allah's already written what this person is going to do. Simple. Yeah, it so says here. It. No, it says here. Yeah, what he will do, but it's going to overcome. He wrote for him. He decided for him. Oh, <laughs> oh my word. You don't know. This. Your camera is open again. I saw you jumping like crazy. With it, with it. What's happening to you? You're acting like a monkey now. I'm, 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 I'm sitting down, down. I'm sitting down. I'm not, I'm, I'm not jumping anywhere. No, you are moving like a, like a, like a lizard. No, I'm not. I like it when you shake head, you like a lizard. What happened to you? By the way, what kind of God do you think the lizard is the enemy of God? Lizard. Yeah, what kind of God do you think the lizard is an enemy of God? <laughs> Your God, could not, your God could not find a bigger, bigger enemy. What lizard you know about? Lizard, lizard. You know what lizard? Because yeah, I, I see you, you're shaking. You're shaking like one. So that's why you remind me of him, Mister Lizard. That we, you know, he's a he's a friend of mine. Actually, he, he eat the mosquitoes uh, around in my yard. So look what happened. You have a God who's so great. He wrote your destiny, and he wrote the destiny of the lizard. And now the lizard become his enemy. And now he's ordering you to kill the lizard. And what kind of religion? The religion, uh, Allah, he waves jihad against the lizard. I mean, he could not find even something bigger. His main enemy is shaitan. The shaitan's no, main enemy. No, his main, enemy. his main, uh, uh, his main enemy is lizard. No, it's not. It's the shaitan. Okay, the, let Iblis. us see. Let us see. Here we go. Uh, Iblis. Okay, here we go. Your prophet, even he gave a special reward to the one who killed the lizard from the first shot. Yeah. Why? Why you want to kill the lizard? Well, that was a, listen, if uh, you had a lizard in your house, uh -huh. what, what do you do? I will come him do? because he will eat the uh, mosquitoes, he will eat the insect, he will never harm me. Lizards are very... Really... 
any house. You would never give it a lizard. Lizard, lizard, they are very useful animals. They are not bad. Have you ever heard of somebody yeah. die because of a lizard in the Middle East? Nobody will keep a lizard in, in their own house. Okay, never. read, read um, the hadith. Read, read the hadith. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Says lizard and cheese he from clarified material. Hello? Hello, hi, how are you? Are you from Pakistan? Yes, 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 yes from quiet, that's why. Yeah, from the clarified but I'm very quiet but because I'm eating carrot. Go ahead. He but he left the lizard. It was eaten of the food. No, 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 you are reading, you know, it's your internet. You know, are you staying the internet from the neighbors as usual? The Muslim do in the Indian again. Listen, whoever kills house lizard with one blow, which will have uh, will have such and such reward. Why Allah yeah. make a special reward for killing a lizard from the first hit? I don't know. What do you mean? Thing. No, you are the Muslim who excited to call me. And you don't, each time I ask you a question, you say, no, is that the only answer you have? Is it tried to switch? Mm -hmm. So what kind of God, his enemy, is Mr. Lizard? Is that a cartoon? He's not, he's not enemy. No, he's his enemy. He just don't like him. He just doesn't okay, like give him. me the reason. If you kill him from the first hit, you have a, the top reward. If you kill him from the second hit, you have a second reward, less reward. If you kill him from the third hit, you have the lowest reward. Why? Give me the reason. Must be a reason that we don't know is, is, is the work that on un, unseen, you know, so unseen that he that he knows why. What do you mean you don't know? Like, okay, okay. So what is the problem between Allah and Mr. Lizard? Maybe we can fix the problem. What is the problem it's between same, Allah and the lizard? It's same as a it's same as a swine, pig. Okay, Allah, but Allah li is, but lizard is not a swine, and your prophet and the Muslim they used to eat him. Who? The Muslim they eat lizard. But that was in history. It's not now. No, is you it? eat it now. You eat it now. You go to the Middle East. You will see them. You know, go just type now cooking dub in Saudi Arabia. Dub. We never they know. No. Listen, yeah, Abdul, I'm asking are. you. Don't change the topic. I don't care about your kitchen now. Why Allah want to kill the lizard? What the problem? We don't know. I know. I, don't... I know what you know not. You see, I, you, 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 you Muslims are not Muslims. You are fake. According to your prophet, that lizard, he tried to put fire on Abraham. Is that true? To be honest, I don't, I don't, I don't have a clue about that. What do you mean to be honest? Are you saying to me all that time you were not honest and now you decide to be honest? No, I'm, I'm saying that Abraham. Okay. So the... I'm asking you, is it true that according to your prophet, that Mr. Lizard, he was the only creature who tried to burn Abraham? If that is true, then okay. It's okay. So don't tell me now that Allah is not the enemy of the lizard. So the lizard is the enemy of Allah. Yeah. Okay. So now. How how lizard can burn Abraham? Explain to us. Let us find the hadith. Huh? How how can lizard uh, burn Abraham? <laughs> yeah. Why? Have you got the hadith here? I'm asking you why. Why? Why he? Uh, yeah. Why did is it try to kill him? Yeah. I don't have a clue. Okay, so is the story about him trying to burn Abraham is a true story? To be honest, all I all I know that his uh, father and his people were trying to kill him, burn him, but I don't know about the. Lizard part. Okay. You never heard about about this lizard trying to kill Abraham before. To be honest, no. no. To be honest, do you know anyone? Being, being... Do you know anyone from Pakistan? He was killed by a lizard. He was blowing air on him, like to make fire on him. Do you see anybody? Do you remember anybody? No. You know. No. You do not know. You know what? I I'm a real witness. When once I was in the Middle East. There was a guy, he had a fire in his car, and then there's a bunch of lizard. They, they were driving Porsche. They stop in the side of the highway, and they open the door, and they start blowing wind from their mouth. <laughs> and they were burning the guy's car. 
What do you think about my story? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. You, know, you are a Muslim. You know everything. The Muslim, they know everything. Neither small issues. CP, we got more important issues well, here. Well, but well, well, either your prophet is saying the truth or he is a fraud. This is small or big. doesn't matter. A small, a small lie is the same as a big lie. So is it true that the lizard, Mr. Lizard, Salamander, he is blowing wind at your prophet, Abraham? Yeah. Yeah? How a lizard can do that? Well, I don't, I don't have a clue. How big is the mouth of the lizard and what kind of wind he will pose? What's the hadith or not? Yeah, this is a hadith. This is the Eve hadith. It's not the, uh, hmm. Kill, blow. Mm. Miktas by all right, uh, killed by a blow mm. to be killed. Saying that oh, you are reading now from the screen, let me just stop then. Okay, speak of Abraham being put in fire in the tradition. Mm. Seeing the, the geckos, the gecko, yeah, they, they change, it's something the same. That's why if you are of an insurance from Geico company, you should not do that. So is this a story is true or this is a fabrication from your prophet? When I said that to you, you start laughing, but now you are taking it seriously because your prophet says that. See how Muslim they are hypocrite? You know, it's funny when you tell them a story because they know about it. The second you say the prophet said, they believe it, that's it. They don't dare to say it's not stupid. Seeing the gecko on Abraham, putting the fire in this tradition is he said that the gecko mm. gecko blew on the fire to stir it. He just says that that that, that it blew on the fire that was already already up. The, the, the fire was already up. Yeah, who is who is the lizard? Why he is doing that? So this so this lizard is there. It. Okay, it. okay, I said to you, I said to you, who is the enemy of Allah? The lizard. You said, no, shaitan. So when the lizard is doing that, is he yeah. the enemy of Allah? Well, he did an evil act. He did an evil act. Simple. Okay, is he the enemy of Allah when he was doing that? Enemy of Allah? No, he's the enemy of Abraham. Okay, I want to ask you, is pigs are good? Huh? His pigs are good. Pigs are good. Uh, they are innocent animals, but they are un unclean. Unclean. So which one is better, the lizard or the pig? To be honest, I, according according to this hadith, yeah, they're both they're both the same. Both are the same. Okay. According to your prophet, all the animals in the world, they we yeah. are trying to stop the fire on Abraham. Except the lizard, he was blowing wind. So according to your prophet, dogs, cats, cockroaches, fly, mosquitoes, everybody was busy, the same as we see in the cartoon in the jungle. Everybody was trying to put the fire down, except Mr. Lizard. Do you agree with this story? Uh, the... Your camera is on, by the way. This phone is bloody wrecked. Do you want to give it to me for free? I will give you my old phone because my old phone does not have camera at all. Yeah? My old phone does not have camera. You know, I burn all, anything have camera will burn. The second you open the camera on me, the, the, the camera will be burned. So if you want, we can switch. Did you steal it or this is, this is something you bought yourself? Did you store it from somebody, from a rich guy? No, oh, I got it, I got it new. So just, Give yeah, me your matter, brand address. New story. Okay, no problem. So now, when when all the, sto the story in front of you, is Allah is telling true story or this is a fiction, stupid story? If the hadith is sahih, then cool, yes, real. This is not the question now. Is this story, is true story? Is it you believe that all animals really, they are trying to stop the fire of, why animals, why, why a mice and donkey and horse and camel and cats and rats, all of them, they are trying to stop the fire in Abraham. Tell us why. 
What is their she interest? Was. What their interest? Is that a cartoon or this is a true story? Told the killer of a bed, the snake with a short hair snatching of her eyes. Two lines and the side cause. It's kind of shit. But the main thing is, yeah, Allah made a fire cool. The main part what? of it all. What? Allah said to the fire, be cool. And, and This is and another question. Was... I'm not asking you. Are you guys are saying? Be cool? Like, what the heck? So now, if, if Allah is saying to the fire, be cool, why is making all the animals come to stop the fire? Fire is not fire anyway. So why is asking the mosquitoes and the cats and the rats and the dogs to come and put more water in the fire? If it's not a fire no more. <laughs> Stay two lines. I like it when Muslims they laugh at Allah. I'm the only one who make Muslims laugh at their God. This is true. It's not, it's not, I'm not laughing. And You're laughing, and everybody day. heard you, and then the camera is on again. Oh, oh, camera's on. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. To be honest, yeah, I'm going to be truthful for you, yeah, I'm going to be truthful with you. And I knew about this story, I knew about this story, about everything about it, apart from all the animals that tried to be blown it. That's the, the that's the part. My friend, I didn't know. if you just say that Allah He says uh, to the fire cool and the fire is cool, so why is ordering? Like, do you think those uh, uh, those animals in the jungle like they start volunteer like, hey, Allahu Akbar? They are Muslim animals, you know. They are Muslim Muslim pigs, Muslim rats, Muslim cats, Muslim Muslim horses, Muslim donkeys. They gather because they want to save Prophet Abraham, the Kabir, and they come all of them doing jihad, and everybody brings some water with him. Like <laughs> even mosquitoes, by the way. They put yeah. water in their mouth, brother, and they go over the fire and Abraham, and they throw, uh, you know, it's like helicopters, everything you can imagine. It's a chaos, a million of mosquitoes and insects and donkeys and horses and it, even pigs. Uh, you know, the chimpanzee, chimpanzee was pissing on the fire. Unbelievable. I mean, it was a scene. And then if the fire, Allah, he said to the fire, be cool. So what this, what this drama is about, if the fire is not going to burn Abraham anyway, who is the one who made the animals do this? To be honest, I told the four CP. I'm being truthful with you. I did not know about this papa here. I did not know about this, about these animals. Every Muslim he called me. He gave me an answer. He says I do not know. If you see your comment in the top comment section in the previous videos, people will think that you are a scholar and you Christian prince is running away from you and the Christian prince he cannot answer you and blah 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 blah. And now the day you call me and then I don't know and I don't know and then I do not know. And to be honest with you, I do not know. So the answer now I don't know. Nice to meet you, Mister. I don't know. Change your name. Your name is not Zafar. Your name is I don't know. So listen, when the when the uh, 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 even if you do not know, I'm asking you to use your brain if you have any, in case you have any. So here it says that all the animals, all the animals, every dab, all animals in the world except the lizard. Yeah. Everything. Everything. They try, even, you know, every, all, of, all of them, they try to stop the fire except this. Why? Who is the one who made the animals to come from around the world to stop the fire on Abraham? Looked like at that time the fire department was the job of the animals. To be honest, is this a hadith now on the on the screen you, you you've got up now, yeah? Yeah, no, this is not hadith. This is Washington Post article. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you are just, asking me if this hadith it says the Prophet said it says Abu Musab said, and you are asking me if this is hadith it says the, the Prophet of Allah, blah blah. So do you think this is so? What is going to be obviously it's a hadith. Do you think in Washington Post they say Aisha she said? What's wrong with Muslims? Said Aisha, it is these geckos because the Prophet Allah told us that there was nothing they did not stitch the fire for Iran except animals, and she did not. And so he did not kill. Did not kill. Don't touch your nose, man. I see you in the camera. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I'm touching the. Screen. Oh, you were touching something else. Okay, I, sorry, I got you wrong. I'm on the screen again. Okay, read, read, okay, read. To be honest, yeah, this hadith, I never, I never knew.
Do you really believe in this story? Do you be honest with me? Do you really believe in this story? There's many stories going around that we can't answer. I'm not, many. I'm not asking you if you can answer or not. I'm asking you, do you really believe in the story? Yeah, I do. If, if, if it's true, it's true. Look at what happened. You are the one who says to me that Allah, he said to the fire, cool down, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If the fire is cooling down anyway, isn't going to burn Abraham anyway, what is the need of those animals? And what, what a prophet he means for animals? They are animals. Yeah. Are you Muslim believing that those animals are Muslims and, and Abraham was their prophet? And he was teaching them to? No, no, he wasn't. He was, you know what? Uh, I think, I think, I think, based on this story, Abraham was the person we heard about him who is born in the jungle and his name is Tarzan. I think. No, no. Why not? Because as you see, he have a strong relationship with all the animals, brother. So Tarzan, if you read the story of Tarzan, based upon him, uh, he was a person uh, he, you know, have a strong relationship with monkeys, chimpanzee, all animals. They love him, man. I mean, Tarzan, he is here, forget every, about everything. So Tarzan, peace be upon him. He, uh, you know, he, when he is in trouble, the animals come, the monkeys come, the chimpanzee comes from everywhere. So I think Abraham is a prophet Tarzan. And this CP, is... CP, what is this about salvation? What is this going to salvation? We well, were talking about hell. Here we go. This is about salvation. This is about hell. This is about fire. So who is going? No, no, no. no. Uh, the, the, one, the one who will take you to salvation is a cartoon maker. So now, now, now Abraham, Abraham became a Tarzan. And now monkeys and chimpanzees and the pigs and dogs and chickens and the cows and, and lizard. And, I mean, everybody is involved in this story. This is, this is a... Uh, uh, the book of Karida and Dumna in Arabic. I don't know what they call it in in, in you know the uh, uh, in English. So so listen, you're a prophet. You're a prophet, Abraham. Why the why the animals coming to rescue him? Well, if Allah sent animals, then it's cool. Why? If you just said to me that Allah He stopped the fire, cannot burn him no more. So what's the point of those animals? And how all it says all animals, all animals. So uh, why pigs want to save Abraham? That means they are good. They are not the enemy of Allah, and we, there's nothing wrong with them. Why donkeys? Why dogs? Why cats? What is what is God? So what is what this drama is about? And you know, when when Muslim you say except the lizard, who is the lizard then? Is is lizard as a shaitan? No. Well, as you see. Shaitan himself, if desert is not Shaitan, Shaitan is not putting fire. Who is the one who put the fire? So Shaitan, if he is not lizard, why only lizard decide to hate him? What, what Abraham he did to lizard? Do you think he was like dating his wife or something? No, no. Okay, so why, why, why lizard he hates uh, Abraham? What is there? What is behind this hate? This has got no importance to me. Hey, CP, this got no important to me. This is not important to me. This topic here. Okay, this you is see, all. No, I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you that you Muslims, when you speak about hell and heaven. Okay, let me ask you: Do is monkeys going to go to heaven? What's that? No, there is no animals that are going to be uh, judged and then go to heaven or hell. No, you see humans and jinns. Well, that's that's mean that you are not a Muslim. Look what the Quran says. According to the Quran, Allah He gave Quran to the animals too. Where? What do you mean where? You don't, you don't know where? Don't touch your nose again. I mean, come on, please stop touching your nose, man. The camera is on. Touch my nose. Touch my nose. Okay. Uh, let us read the Quran together. According to the Quran. Allah, he gave the animals Quran. And they are Muslims. Chapter 6, chapter 6, verse number 38. Yeah. It says, all the creatures, Allah, he gave them a book, and they did not destroy anything of the book. And Allah will gather them in the day of judgment and will judge between them. And you are the one who says to me, no, this is not going to happen. They are animals. No. Wait, let me answer now, because on Judgment Day, we know that all animals are going to be judged for their actions. Simple, but they are not animals going to Animals will be judged for their action? 
Yeah, all of them. But you said to me the opposite a second ago. You said animals will not be judged. I said to you they will not be going to heaven or hell. I said they'll be, they'll be so judged. So what's the point What the point to judge between them if they will not go to heaven and hell? Is that waste of time? No, because there are certain animals who have who have done right and wrong. There's certain okay, animals guys, who have been wrong. There's, there's animals who they are doing right and wrong. Okay, if, if you will not send them to heaven and hell, what's the point of judgment? Because because those that they have killed, they need to, uh, they, they need, you know, they uh, to take revenge, revenge on these animals. Revenge? You know? Oh, okay. Like so, okay, so like now, it's... okay, now, is my, my friend, a mosquito, she did uh, stink. Reason, then uh, that animal can get so, Okay, what is the good reason an animal can kill other animal? What's that? You said if an animal kill an animal for not a good reason, what is a good reason for animal to kill other animal? The the only way you can kill an animal for like is for not like like a like a tiger killing a, a deer for food for it's, if it's, it's for okay. food. Okay. Okay. So yeah, for, if so if uh, if uh, if two goats are fighting, Allah will judge between them. Is that correct? If if one of them did wrong against the other, then okay. It's simple. If there is two wrong goats are if there is two goats are fighting. And yeah. one of them, she hit the other one, and she caused the other one to lose her baby. Both are goats. Is Allah going to judge between them? Yes. Why? Judge. Why? Huh? Why? Because in the day, yeah, everybody's got, everyone, everyone's going to take, uh, no, he has, he has got judge, everyone had his sins, but the sins. So, like the, so, the, 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 so the goat, she committed sin. Any animal that, that does something wrong. Okay. Is if a monkey is a female co a monkey, she slept with the three, four monkeys. Is she committing sin? I don't. Uh, I, I don't know the rule of this, but animals doing this kind of stuff. But what I what I know, if they do wrong against another, they'll be well, according to the hadith. You're you know according to you, you Muslims, the monkeys are Muslims. And yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, she agree. Monkeys are Muslims. Mashallah. So now here it says that a monkey, she committed fornication, and then her people, they gather the sheikhs, and they say takbir, Allahu Akbar, and they gather again, and they stone the female monkey for committing fornication. What do you think? There's the, I don't know if there's any such thing about animals doing this kind of stuff, fornication, if it's right or wrong. I, I have a hadith in front of you. The hadith is in front of you. It says, this is the campaign of your prophet saying, during the, the, during the pre-Islamic period of the ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse. I too stoned oh. it. Even the guy he joined in the stoning, all the Muslims, monkeys are Muslims. Are you agreed? You said monkeys are Muslims. Where the monkeys, they learned that this is the punishment of uh, fornication is stoning to death. Where they learn that from? I don't know. They, the monkeys. Yeah, they are monkeys. They that, did Allah send them a chimpanzee prophet? They are not. They are not stupid. The, the animals are not are not stupid. You know. We 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 humans are, we humans are higher than animals. But uh, <laughs> but, but as you see, the animals they knew the rules. But you don't. Each time I show you something, you say I do not know. To be honest with you, I do not know. Those are monkeys. You did not go to school. They did not go recite Quran, yet they knew about fornication and they knew that the punishment of stoning to death. And this is the verse which even the goat she ate it in the Quran from the Quran. So now, how the monkey she they knew that this is called fornication? I never heard of a monkey. He, you know, she she have a husband and she stay with one husband, and she is wearing hijab. And now, if she committed fornication, uh, they will kill her. They will stone her. What is that? It could be true. It could, it could be, be true. true. It could be true. Did you see anything in the zoo? Do you go to the zoo in London? Listen, we we don't know exactly what the. Why you Muslims in the speaker corners don't go and preach the Quran and Islam to the monkeys in the zoo so they can stop fornication? Isn't happen for that animals, aren't they? They're animals. They're, 
So who did it? They are animals. Look, they are animals, but they don't do fornication. And they, they do fornication, the monkeys will stone her. So I want you to prove to me that such a thing is true, that really monkeys, they will stone a female monkey if she committed fornication. As I know that monkeys, they sleep with their mother. The mother. All animals, they sleep with yeah. their mother. So since when? This is, this is, don't you think this is garbage? It's not garbage at all. No, 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 not garbage. It's not garbage. No. Ah, okay. No. So do you think main... do you think monkeys are Muslims? Do you agree that monkeys See, are Muslims? Do you agree actually? Already you said yes. Okay, let me ask you then. As long as we are talking the about question... huh? See, but the main question, yeah, the main question is who is going to heaven or hell? The Muslim or Christians? I show you the Quran. I show you the Quran. I show you the Quran with the clear proof. It says Muslim. They all of them. They will go to hell. Here we go. Again, here we go. This is a chapter 19, verse number 71. It says it's a decree that every one of you shall enter hell. And you'll keep saying to me the main question, what's wrong with you? I just gave you the answer from your books. And the hell, they're gonna walk past it. They're gonna walk past it. That's a commentary of what that. Hasty, what hasty, what hasty, what hasty? No, this is Quran. وَإِنِي مِنْكُمُ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا The Arabic is so clear. Not a one of you, but he, but he will enter it. It is, كَانَ عَلَى رَبِّكَ حُتْمًا مَقْضِيًّا It is, it is a must, it's a decree. So it's a destiny. Huh? I've already asked this question a week yeah. ago. Okay, do you think this monkey who committed fornication, she will go to heaven or to hell? Oh, forget the monkeys. We're talking about ourselves. Why are you talking about monkeys for animals for? I don't see a different. No, this is what you the Christians and well, Muslims. You, st you stone a woman if she commit adultery. Monkey, they stole women, they commit adultery. So you say to me, we are different? No, but I told him before the animals do not go to heaven or hell. Simple, so we don't care about okay. them. You they said to me, you said to me that Allah will judge between the animals in the day of judgment, correct? He isn't punish one, he isn't punish them, and then uh, he, kill what them he will all. do. Simple. Okay, uh, a, a goat she uh, attack other goat. What Allah will do to the first goat? He will put her in jail. He's in a he's in punish them somehow and then kill them off. Every every animals get but now killed. He, but, but now he is being bad. He killed them both, so he is punishing the first goat for killing the first, second goat, and then he will kill them anyway. He then he not punish the wrong ones in a, such a way, and then he's gonna put them all to death. Simple, but that's not important to me. This okay. is not important to me. Okay, the, so the, listen, the, listen. Okay, your God in the day of judgment, when there's two goats mm -hmm. are fighting, he will Why bring them. Animals? I'm just showing you. Everybody. And I'm showing you that. Do listen, listen. Here we go. <laughs> this is two goats. This is two goats. And this is a hadith in the front of you. Two goats, they yeah. were fighting. Hmm? Two goats are fighting. Okay. And then, let me see if I can find uh, in English. Maybe we can't find in English. But we should be able. Uh, let us see. Okay, maybe we cannot fight in English. So anyway, actually, we we can use Google Translation. We can use Google Translation. Read, read with me here carefully. This is Google Translation. I will use Google Translation. Two goats they were fighting together. The Prophet said, and one of them she caused the other one to lose her baby. And Allah will judge between them in the day of resurrection. Yeah. Hmm. How? What do you mean, how? Do Allah give the goats the consciousness to know what abortion mean, what losing baby mean? Do they knew those animals? They might know. Do the, do, do the goats know what sin is? Yeah. How? They, they, they know what's right and wrong. How? How they knew what's right, what's wrong? How, how they knew? Animals know what's, what's right and wrong. They, they are not. How? how, how? I'm not. asking you how they knew what's right, what's wrong. We're talking about religion now. Because Allah has given the ability for them to know what's right and wrong. Okay. Uh, 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 Safars, Safaraz, whatever your name. Uh, when I saw, I saw a dog licking his penis, do you think he was doing a pollution? Stop. <coughs> I saw a dog and a cat. Yeah. They lick their ass and they lick their penis. Do you think they are doing abolition? They are Muslims? No. So how they knew they should lick it then? You said to me they knew. Why they are doing Look that? At these, 
because the animals the animals are not are not are, are not clean like us. They are not they they're not like us. But you they told are, me they knew what is right, what's wrong. So do the animals they pray to Allah? What's that? Do the animals pray to Allah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they that's why they are Muslims. Yeah, but they are, yeah, but they, okay. yeah, but the animals in that. Okay, but they are Muslims. You agreed. The animals, see, they are not humans like Islam. You are the one who said, yeah. Okay, I'm asking you, do the animals pray to Allah? They must do, yeah. Okay, so they are Muslims. Yeah, okay. Muslims. I know that. Okay, exactly. Muslims. So, so why Muhammad you want to kill dogs if they are Muslims? He don't want to kill them. Is the is the the black ones? No, he ordered in the beginning to kill all dogs. He he, he and, did not want them to be in the city of Akka no, because they are no, owned. No, no, okay, First of all, this is where he lives, so he don't want dogs where he lives. Why? Because dogs they they hate him. They knew he's evil. Dogs they can't oh, feel. No, no, no. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. They are unclean. That's why they are unclean. Well, are you clean? <laughs> Yes, I'm clean. You are not. The dogs are clean. Okay, it's a let me vet. ask you. Let me ask you. If a dog he have lice, does that make him dirty? What's that? What do you say? If a dog have lice, dogs have lice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that because they are dirty? No, it's because of the of the of their mouth is dirty. It's, it's unclean. The main part is a mouth. Okay. And all that saliva. So their okay, saliva the only is making them not clean. Is your saliva clean? Yes, because yes, but I'm I'm human, obviously. Well, according clean. according to science, your saliva is more dirty than the toilet seat. Go check. My saliva, yeah, is clean than the animals. Simple. How you know? Because they're animals. Yeah, they're dirty. They're, they're, they're not okay. clean. Okay. So clean. so uh, is is uh, so only the saliva of the dog is dirty because Muhammad he says if you touch the dog you have to wash etc. Time, not only saliva, right? So is the dog is najis? See, is he najis? Doesn't matter what we touch, or only if we touch his mouth. Yep, yeah, and that's and that's a well-known fact by the health experts around the world. They say that as well. That okay, the what, dog's they, what they say? Tell me, tell me what they say. Is okay, but I'm saying to you in Islam, is the dog all of it is najis or only the saliva? I've been told that the main part is the saliva. The main part. So if you touch a dog, is okay in Islam? I've been told I've been told you can touch it, but not the saliva, not the mouth part. Keep away from okay. the mouth. So, what, what, uh, so what about uh, the blood of the dog? Is it is it clean? To be honest, I don't I don't <laughs> I don't I don't know about the blood part, but the main part is the uh, saliva. Okay, slime. I have slime. a I have a friend. He take a shower in a spot of water like a jacuzzi. Have dead dogs in it, and women are blood from period and garbage. Is that? Okay. CP, we got more important things to talk about heaven and hell, and you're well, talking about this is about heaven and hell. Here. Your prophet obviously already in hell because he is filthy, dirty. What kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? Your camera is on again. What kind of a prophet is going to jump in a water, have dead dogs and women blood from period, and garbage? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't there. What do you mean you do not know? Do you think this is crazy? If I right now, if you're Muslim, you have a videotape of me jumping in water, have dead dogs and women blood from period. Aren't you going to make a scandal about it? Hey, Christian Prince, we found him, you know, jumping with dead dogs, water and women blood from period and garbage. Hey, crazy Christian Prince, prove it, you know. Why you don't question the behavior, the mental illness of your prophet? Why a person, he have a brain, will do such a thing? <coughs> he wasn't, he wasn't. <laughs> The cuff, yeah, cuff. <laughs> yeah. Drink water, yeah. You need a lot of water. Be sure that the water doesn't have dead dogs and one blood from period. Uh, have you ever did a pollution like your prophet or you Muslim Sunni don't follow the step of the prophet? Because now, if I am a Sunni, I have to order some dead dogs and women blood from period and some garbage yeah. and mix it in the bathtub and then I do a pollution from the water. Because we should follow the steps of the Prophet. No, this was already there. He did. He did not put the things in there. It was already there. Oh, okay. So he, they are already there, and Muhammad he jumped there because they like it there. 
No, just a one-off. I don't, I don't know. Why but you like it? Okay. Okay. What do you think? Do you think it's his normal behavior? No. If he if if he said it's clean, it's clean. How it's a clean okay. and there's dead dogs in it and women blood from period and garbage. Even even the translation translation saying garbage, not me. Garbage, garbage. Do you see what garbage mean? It's a small yeah. amount of water. It's not running water. <coughs> it's a still water. It's a stinky water, and the water color changed. So how in yeah. the world, Muhammad, he do such a thing? So how we can follow this guy? This guy is having mental illness, obviously. No mental illness. No mental illness. So what? So what have? So what you have? Tell me. I'm, I, you know, I don't want to be. I don't want to be rude. Okay. If if he had mental illness here, how could he have got the whole of Arabia to 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 follow him? By the sword. Come on. By the sword. Arabia. By the sword. By the sword. By the sword. By the sword. If you go to the chapter of Al Fatah, it says when the Fatah came, when the victory came, everybody entered Islam by waves. Is that correct? When they entered Mecca. They did not even touch one of the enemies. This is, this, is, this is a lie. This is a lie. Only he, he only he, uh, uh, you know, uh, first of all, Mecca is his people, his cousin. You know, why is somebody want to kill his families? And Muhammad is trying to take over them. He don't want to kill them all because if he killed everybody, nobody will support him. But I'm asking you, is it true? The Quran says when the victory in, by the sword came, people, they start in, in, going in, inside Islam by waves. Not by one, not by two, by thousands. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. How come? Because of the sword. And is it true when your prophet, he died, most them they start reading Islam by waves? All right. Let me answer. Let, let me answer that. So look, because, uh, they because... enter Islam because of fear. They leave Islam because fear is gone. They thought yeah. Muhammad is gone. And then Abu Bakr, he launched a war. It's called the, the War of Apostate. Is that correct? Against who? It's called the War of Apostate. Right away, when Muhammad died, people are left Islam, correct? Not all of them. Not all of them, exactly. So what you do, you, uh, you attack them by the sword and you force them to convert again. So the gang of Muhammad is the one who made Muhammad victorious. It's not Allah, it's not his, uh, it's just a savage, the savagery of the gang, ISIS. It's not, not so it's you, not, are, it's you are trying to escape all this stupidity. Look, we started from one thing. And the, mo the most important is, you agreed that the angels are we are questioning the decision of Allah and Allah he told them it's not up to you to tell me what is right what's wrong so what kind of angels they call them angels and they are questioning God decision that's not important for me the most point for me is who is going to help heaven help you, you or will me go to hell. I, sh I showed you the reference you will go to hell no, no, no. That is not. I asked the commentary of that from the Sheikh. The listen, Senate, listen, the listen, 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 listen. The Quran says, the Quran says, the Quran says that the Christian, they say only Christian and Jews will go to heaven. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. The Allah, He said to them, what? The Jews of Christians say that we are saved, whatever, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Chapter 2, verse 111, correct? The Quran saying, they are saying only us. Allah said to them, give me your proof if you are truthful, which means only you. So he agreed they will go to heaven. <laughs> no, he, he said to him, give just us the evidence. Just take care. Just take care. Call me next time.